So what do you do when your kid is constantly misbehaving, no matter how many timeouts or punishments? You put him in jail. Okay, that is what a Texas father did to his three-year-old daughter, who he says was repeatedly disrespecting him. He actually created a mock jail in his home. He dressed her in an orange inmate T-shirt, an old T-shirt of his. He fed her only meat and potatoes and water. <laughs> and he even took a series of mug shots. <laughs> now, there was tremendous outrage after this happened. He has since apologized for this. He said, I was totally in the wrong. Now Child Protective Services is looking into this family. Oh, it's raising no, a whole nother thing. Much. I read an article where the author of the article was saying, well, geez, I hope this doesn't result now in the little girl being taken from, no. from him. But, uh... I think he oh, took the crazy. joke too far. Like I said, I have little yeah. ones. And as we all know with little ones, you keep consequences short because they have the attention span of a hummingbird. Yeah. I mean, they don't understand from one thing That's to the next. Years old. So, no, but it's, yeah. like, they, this was too far of a consequence. They don't understand it. And I think she might have probably be scarred a little bit from it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe she thinks solitary. it's funny. Jeez. No, but it's kind of silly. Don't you think it's gone too far? I mean, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little much, but it, I just yeah. don't want the kid to think that this is fun and this is just kind of like, oh, it's playtime. Right. I want to go to jail when I grow up. You know? yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I think it's for fun. It might we be... have a friend, though, who walks by a jailhouse, and he'll remain nameless, but he jokes with his, his son. He used to say, we're going to put you in the cage. If you come out, like, jokingly, yeah, like, right. there's, a, there's a police precinct if you're acting out. But he was six or seven, you know, kind of like knowing that the policemen will put you in jail if you're in trouble. But three is very young. My brother, my oldest brother, I have three older brothers, and, and I was a, kind of a brat as a little kid, and I would spit at them and stuff, and he would threaten me. He would say that De Detective Palumbo was going to come get me. <laughs> yes, I'll never forget that. The minute my mother went shopping, she always went shopping on a Saturday, he would say, Detective Palumbo is on the phone. He's oh, going yeah. to go. I was so... Look at me how scarred I am. I am <laughs> What scared me from jail, uh, I think my parents, I don't even know if they really told me this, but I thought until I was probably 10 years old that you only got bread and water in jail. And that scared me so much. Uh, like, you could only eat bread and water yeah. and you survive. So that's what scared me. <laughs> but then I met a policeman with handcuffs and everything was fine. Oh, sure. All right, all right, anyway. You know, anyway, Meredith. Oh, you know what? You know what? Right. <laughs> Those what? sparkly things are getting up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Christmas is, it's a week away. I can't believe this, which means this weekend... bothered me so much. If you're a woman, it turns out you might be spending more than your male counterparts for essentially the same things. An article in the New York Daily News today reports that stores are charging women more than men for similar merchandise like jeans and razors, on average 7% more for products, yeah. which is crazy. And the, the theory is, they say it's, it's product development and all that, but that's baloney in a lot of the cases. The theory is that they know women will pay more. Yeah. That Absolutely. men are less likely. And this doesn't surprise me at all. Like, I am what you might call a shopping expert. Yes, you um, are. I yes, love a little are. retail therapy. And so I remember I used to advise women a lot in my book. I used to say, if you're going to buy women's products, whatever that is, like stuff that you buy at the grocery store or the drugstore, do a community co-op with, like, your girlfriends. Buy it in bulk. Make each person responsible for That's one smart. thing. Like, you buy the deodorant. Like, I'll buy the tampons. Oh, and then just send each other a care package and you cut the cost of each individual item by like 50% by doing oh, that. That's yeah. a very smart, smart idea. Really? Yeah. And yeah. keep doing it and you get a little care package in the month every month. Yeah. So, yeah. I ask a question, why are razors so expensive? It's just metal. Why are they? They're like but, uh, 30 bucks men's, a cartridge. Our men's razors are cheaper than you ladies. That's, that's why I, I buy my husband the cheap pink ones because I'm too cheap to go get the fancy <laughs> ones and I don't understand. Someone needs to uh, tell me why. I don't have that concern. I just stay hairy. <laughs> were fans of the classic 90s sitcom Full House. Did you love it? Yeah. All right, so you know, if you loved it, you know that Netflix is rebooting the series. First teaser was released yesterday, and people are freaking out over it. A lot of the people who saw that teaser were started to cry because the dog, the comet, way back when, is no longer with us. And so that is a new yeah. comet, but it made them sad and everything. I'm so excited so. about this, though. I mean, this is my childhood, so I'm so excited oh, Netflix has brought this This is our Friday night. This is our Friday night. This is our Friday night. Yes. So I mean, it's my Friday night. Have but it, yeah. you're, you're not that much older. You was mm. watching that too. Don't front. Nah. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it premieres on Netflix February 26th. So something to look forward to in the new year. Yeah.